All right, I was doing another video and I couldn't, it just wasn't working. I was going to, I was going to talk about D.H. Lawrence is the man who died and it just wasn't working. I was, I was, so I'm going to have to do that for another day. I'm going to do it for another day because if it's not working, it's not working. That means that I'll have to do it another day. That, that, um, story about, about D.H. Lawrence is the man who died from my perspective perspective can't speak today at all all right so what am i going to talk about um all right um Um, okay. Um, okay, I was in the gym today. This is to do with the state of not being there. Okay, so I was in the gym today and, you know, so I was working out, doing a bit of stuff, you know, a bit of stuff here, a bit of stuff there, you know, moving here, moving there, you know, over here, over there, you know, and... So at, at one point, I was kind of like, like I said, you can't really enter into a different state, but you definitely know when it's there. And then when it's there, then I try to observe it and go, w where did this come from? You know, because you can't put yourself into it. So I was doing one machine today. Uh, And then I moved to the next machine to do uh, a workout with my legs. Like I said, I can't speak today. And all of a sudden, I'm not there anymore. Now, don't get me wrong. Of course, I'm there. I'm still working out. I'm physically working out, right? So, but I'm, I'm looking around and all of a sudden that state comes in. I don't know what level it is, you know, but it's it's... I'm not there. The physical body is there and you're there, but you're not there. So it's kind of like, I can try to describe it as kind of like, um, um, it wouldn't matter in that moment whether someone was nice to you or completely ignored you or said something snappy to you or said something nice to you, you wouldn't care or be affected either way because there's no one there. There's no one there to get offended. There's no one there to take any anything from it, any kind of identity from it or kind of like any feeling from it. It just is what it is. And because of that, when you're in that state and it's an internal process, an internal vibration. So in that, you know that you have power, real power, not this, not this, this fake pretense of power, this, this fake, um, strutting around and, and kind of like, you know, does everyone look at me and who am I? And, you know, like uh, all that kind of like, you know, that ego stuff that is a stage performance is really just to try and protect the ego, to try and pretend that it's strong. But in this state, there is, don't get me wrong, it didn't last that long, like I said, because I just try and speak about things. If, like I said, with the man who died a minute ago, it wasn't really working. So fuck it, I'll, I was going to talk about this and I'll just talk about this. It seems more comfortable to me at the moment. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so in that state, there is, no, no one can do anything to you, okay? You are free from criticism. You're free from a compliment. You're not there, so it doesn't really make any difference. So whether you talk to someone, don't talk to someone, whether you're looking at someone, whether someone's looking at you, whether you're getting attention, getting no attention, because let's be honest about it as well, you know, what whores we are for attention. The things that we'll do to get attention, especially from the opposite sex, 
you know, is bordering on pathetic from both men and women, you know, and it's kind of like, so in that state, that game is not there. It's kind of like, you know, it's ba it basically, it's just, it has everything it needs. So it doesn't care either way in that, in that, in that state when you're in there, even, in, even a tiny bit, it has everything that it needs. So it doesn't need to do this stage performance of, Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Which everyone thinks that they're not doing, but everyone is doing. Everyone's doing that. Everyone's in, in the state, pretty much, not everyone, but the majority are in the state of, please give me some attention because I need to fuel my energy back up again. And now I've known people in the past that do this to an extreme, but they would never ever admit that they do it because they're completely unconscious. And I do it as well. As well, not not to not to a massively extreme, but still at the same time, you know, there's nothing wrong with getting a little bit of attention as well. But it's just that when it's fueling the ego and you can't go beyond it, then it becomes a bit of a problem. If you want to have a different state, maybe you know. So, so um, yeah. So in that state, it was it was weird to observe it and to go, and to go. Well, I didn't bring myself into it, and. I also, I have no power to bring myself really into it. I can do self-observational work and I can do, uh, I can be aware of being in a weakened egotistical state. I can do all things observing and looking and leaving it there and not trying to get out of it. I can do all that stuff. I can observe the ego is weak and that it's doing all these games to try and stay strong, you know, but I can't get out of it and neither can I. I it just seems to come in and come out. It, 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 it's, it's not a conscious decision. You know, so, but anyway, in that state, it was really weird to observe that again. It was like, and it's a, you know, it's, it's, there's no words for it, but it's just such a better state than, than walking around like a fucking monkey. You know, walking around like a fucking monkey, uh, hoping that someone's nice to you or hoping that, you know, that you don't come off rude or you don't come off a certain way because you have this fake persona. You know, it's a lot of fun, real fun to be in it because you don't require anything from the outside to give you any kind of validation, real validation for who and what you are. You know, it's above that. You're above all that. So obviously, when you're when in that state, when you're above all that, you're also above violence. You're you're above at arguing with people, not arguing so much. Just kind of like you know, attacking people or getting offended because nothing they can say can ever. You would never believe it for a start. So it's like, well, okay, you know, internally you would just think, okay, it's, it's an interesting opinion. You know, but, you know, people don't know themselves enough even to give any correct judgment of anybody else anyway. So it's ridiculous for anyone else really to be passing judgment on anyone in the, in, the, in the crippled state that we're in, you know, which is run by, you know, ego, the love of money. I was listening to Paul's show yesterday as well. Some guy was on it and he was talking about that money is the root of all evil. And I was listening to it, and uh, what a load of nonsense, dude! It's not—it's not the root of all evil at all. You know, you know, uh, if it weighs heavily on your heart, and it's, and that's your god, and 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 like it—it it means so much. That's probably the root of a lot of evil when it when it has a pull on your heart, when it's out of kilter with you experiencing the truth. So if you put anything above the truth, if you put anything above it then you know we're going to suffer so that that's just what it is you know that's the way we seem to be designed you know so you know so um yeah that state was weird so what after i finished into the gym then i went into the shower and then went to the sauna sitting there on my own and it was still there a tiny bit the state was still there a, a, a tiny bit and you know and and then, then it just kind of wears off a tiny bit. And, but it's always good to observe when you're in it because that's why I'm making these videos as well. You know, the reason, one of the main reasons I'm making, making these videos is to share these small experiences that other people may or may not 
take some sort of positive feedback from as well because like I said I'm not going to be speaking about things that I have no direct experience with because that's disingenuous and it's no good for me and it's no good for anyone who's listening or may listen to these later on I don't know you know so but there definitely is a state that we can be in that requires no effort on our part and we don't need to defend anything and we have true power by having no power at all you know and obviously I wish to go back there but to try and get back there is the, is the surest way to not get back there you know because uh, you know it's like trying to get out of your own internal trap which I'm going to do another vi a video on on that as well you know like stay in the trap don't try and get out of it dude because the minute you try and get out of it you're closing them bars tighter around yourself that's the irony of the, of the whole thing we can, the ego cannot get out of the trap because the ego created the trap so we can't get out we have to be smarter than the ego and we can observe the jail cell we can observe the bars around us but we cannot get out of it we have to leave that to like today in the gym It'll come in and it'll come out, you know. So the more you start working with it, it is possible for it to come in and to come out. But the but the main thing that I really kind of wanted to leave with this video was that is that um, is that it's there. That state is there, and obviously there's different levels to it as well. Who knows what's beyond and higher than that? I'm just probably just touching, like, you know, the base, you know, so it's kind of like, you know, but there is states where we can get to where, you know, where our ego is not there. Call it what you want, but it's not there. And kind of like uh, we have great power by having no power and... We don't have to think our way through life like 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 robots and be worried about this and be worried about that and you know how am i going to come off here how am i going to come off there how do i look as someone accepting me or someone not accepting me should i talk to, to this man or woman or should i should i not what should i do should i act cool should i act quiet should i pretend that i'm intelligent by being silent or should i be silent and whatever you know all these mental games that we play with us uh, play with ourselves all these mental games that we <laughs> that we do to fool ourselves into thinking that we're strong and we ain't don't need to be either but we certainly ain't strong you know we're a joke and you know and that's fine too you know like you know we should be self depreciating in those ways as well but we should also put ourselves at number 1 as well we put ourselves at number 1 by trying to observe the trap and try and get out of it in a way that is not trying to get out of it if that makes sense you know but um yeah so it's there that state is there it is there you know and like i said in one of the other videos you know one thing that does happen is that your eyes change a bit something happens to them they kind of like they just they're just like different they're not on defense all the time and they're not you know kind of like you know looking around they're just kind of like you look through everything you know what i mean you kind of like you penetrate through everything and you look straight at things like a child that's a good way to describe it and you know, and Paul Enslaved has them eyes. If you look at it, if you look at his video closely, you know, uh, he has them. He has them eyes where they're kind of they're kind of like children's eyes, where they're open and they can just penetrate straight through. You know, so the state is there. The state is there, and you know that's what this channel is about. It's about that. It's about trying to trying to toy around with that. You know, and there's no better time to toy around with it. When you're in great distress, in great stress, and in great internal upheaval, you know, so you can even induce it more. So when you're feeling bad and kind of like worthless and empty and, 
you're not balanced in any way whatsoever. There are great times to just watch yourself in the trap and do nothing about it. You know, so. Okay, cool.